Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about different variations on doing picket style edging for your beadwork. So let's just get straight into it. We are going to start off with one bead. Here I am using a size 11 bead. Okay, so we're going to go up from the bottom of the bead. Just straight up in the bead. And it should lay flat just like that. We're going to do that all the way across with just one bead at a time. So one bead. And then go back up from the bottom of the bead. Just like that. Now always be careful on the tension of your thread. You don't want to pull too tight and you don't want to leave a lot of it loose. So as you are edging your beadwork, just be mindful of that. Okay, so here is the end result. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go on to the second style. We are going to start off with one bead. Just like how we started off with that first style, go back up the bead to lay it flat. Now we are going to grab two beads and then we are just going to go through that last bead, just the one bead and then it's going to look like this, like a little tiny triangle and again, two beads. And then go back up just on the last bead. And then you're going to continue this all the way across. And I've been on my knees thinking time is gonna fix me inside. And then your end result is going to look just like this. Almost like a zigzag. Okay, so let's get started on the third style. I started off with one bead and then I grabbed two beads. And then I'm going to go up both beads. And then I'm going to grab three beads. And then I'm going to go up all three beads. You can continue to go up to four or five, but I'm just doing three right now. And then I'm gonna go back down to two beads. And go back up both beads. 
and then you're going to grab just one bead again and then go back up that bead and then you're just going to repeat the process yeah yeah no nothing's gonna make And this is the final result for that um, style. You can add more beads and you can add less beads if you like. They look like little triangles. Okay, this next style, we are going to do the exact same thing we did on that first style, except we're going to combine two different size beads. So I started off with a small bead, then I grabbed a larger bead, and go back up the bead again and I'm just going to alternate between one small bead and one large bead This is what it looks like in the end. Again, it's just the same way we did that first style, except we're just alternating between two different sizes. Okay, let's get started on the next style. I already started off with a small bead. Next, we are going to grab once one large bead and one small bead. And here we are going to do the exact same thing we did on that second style we did in the beginning. Just go back up on that last bead, which should be the smaller size. And again, one large bead and then one small bead. And then go back up on that smaller size bead. I just wanna be hold you Time to say goodbye you To your love again Missing you, I'm missing you Come to me again Come on baby, let it go Let me find again Love is you So this is what it looks like. I alternated the colors um, towards the end there Okay, so we're going to do uh, the exact same thing we did Except we are going to start off with a large bead and Then we are going to grab a smaller size bead and then a large bead And then you're going to go back up that last bead, which should be a large bead. So the smaller bead should be at the top instead of the bottom. the final result next we are going to combine both of these methods going to start off with one large bead and instead of one bead we are going to grab two beads And then you're going to go up both beads.
다시 못볼것 같아 내게 다가와줘 어서 내게 키스를 해줘 오늘 이 밤이 내게 너무 소 And there you have it. Same method, different outcome. Next, I am going to do basically the same thing, except I am adding three beads just to give it a different um, height. just to show that you can mix it up a bit. And here are all the different styles you can do with picket edging.